In this video we will we'll be discussing the VPOD Lite and its features that are available. If you look at the VPOD Lite it has several buttons on the front. On off, displacement, velocity, acceleration, and light. To begin, we'll push and hold the on button and you'll see the uh, screen light up. And if you look at the display you'll see a large number of zero. Uh, currently it's set at GRMS. In the upper left hand corner we see an icon showing the status of the coil cable and you can see that it is in an open state uh, and below that is the battery. As you change to velocity you'll notice that it, it switches the unit to millimeters per second, microns peak per peak, for displacement and the backlight is being shown here which is nice to use in a dark environment so you can actually see the numbers on the display. With this meter it's easy to change the display unit so for example going from microns peak to peak we can just press and hold the button and the displacement will now switch to mils peak to peak and then back to microns peak to peak so it will continue to wrap through. So just hold and release the button to what you want to see on the display. And uh, one thing to point out is that as you leave the unit and you turn it off, when you turn it back on it will be in that unit. Next we'll go to velocity and you can see that we have millimeters per second, inches per second peak, inches per second RMS, centimeters per second centimeters per second RMS and then it will wrap back on through again. And then again when we go to acceleration push the, and hold the button and you see the options that are available for that. The VPOD light comes standard with a high quality accelerometer and this one is uh, model 786A from Wilcoxon Research which is a premium accelerometer. In this case it's uh, normal sensitivity is 100 millimeters or 100 uh, millivolts per G um, and uh, is very easy to use. It has a uh, nice strong magnet on there, uh, two rails on it so that you can go to a curved surface. A coiled cable and then we have a nice LIMO connector that you can connect to the VPOD um, meter. It's fairly straightforward as far as how you connect this. You just connect it to the um, connector on the meter. Observe that the upper left hand corner with the cable connected correctly that we have a solid connection so the meter is connecting the cable being correct take it out and now it shows an open status in this case what we've done is we've actually mounted a wire inside the cable itself so that it creates what is called a short and this is a common problem that happens with cables and so if you look at the meter here you'll see that when we connect it it has a darkened bar in the this area here and what that means is that it's a short so so that way if we remove it now it's an open and if it's actually connected the bars would actually be completed going between them so it'd be a good connection. Extended tip what we'll be talking about is the extended tip that comes with the standard kit in the VPOD series of meters if you look at the extended tip and how it's actually used, we have an accelerometer with a high strength magnet and you notice that it's got a specific design so that you can connect this tip to the accelerometer. The rails that are on the magnet fit correctly with this piece here on the extended tip so you just click it in place like that and uh, that's it. So now you have your extended tip connected to the accelerometer so that you can use this on uh, places where you can't reach or mount the accelerometer correctly as well as uh, non-ferrous uh, uh, 
applications. So you can connect and disconnect the tip very easily. In this video, we will be discussing the sensitivity setting on the VPOD series of meters. To change the sensitivity on the meter, you press and hold first the acceleration button, then press and hold the on button, and uh, continue to keep it pressed. And while you're pressing it, it will go into a menu for adjusting the sensitivity. The two buttons that we'll, we will use to adjust this is the velocity and the displacement button. So one would be considered an up button or a down button. And as you can see, when we push this uh, velocity, it's moving down. And uh, if we push the displacement button, it will roll, roll the numbers up. So what we would do is we would set the uh, sensitivity to match what the calibration report on the accelerometer is. The other reason why this is important is that it allows you to um, change out different sensor types. So for example, if you have a 500 millimeter or 500 uh, millivolts per G sensor and then the next one you want to connect is 100 millivolt per G, you can by adjusting the sensitivity. So this is very simple and easy to use in this meter. In this video, we will be talking about the VPOD meter and the quietness of the meter itself. If you look at what this is, we have a high quality accelerometer connected via a cable to the VPOD light in this case. And as we place the VPOD, uh, or excuse me, place the sensor on the foam, you'll notice that it will be quiet. And as we look at this, we'll see the values just slowly go down to a very quiet value, which is isolated. If it was a noisy or a uh, meter that's not capable, you would see this number bounce around a bit. And in this case, it's a, a set at microns peak to peak. And as you can see, it's settled down to zero uh, at this point. So now we'll go ahead and change this to uh, velocity, millimeters per second, RMS, or root mean square. And now we're in acceleration, G's RMS at 0, 0.00 G's RMS. Taking the accelerometer, we'll go ahead and shake it. And as you can see, it's showing a value on here. And then we'll rest it back on the foam pad again and it will quiet down to its restful state.